Hey everyone, today I want to do a head-to-head -head comparison between NVIDIA 3070 FE and my new acquisition I just got from Newegg probably about 20 minutes ago. It is an ASRock 6800 non-XT. Let's get this unboxed and onto a test bench. Okay, so first things first, let's get it out of the box. Wow, that GPU's actually got some weight to it. Now, is there anything else underneath here? Just a quick little pamphlet, that's it. So let's get this out of the way. Bring this back into focus here. And just a regular anti-static sticker. There we go. ASRock Phantom Gaming 6800. Now, these fans are regular. This one should be an LED light up. We'll see this. We can see all the protective coating on it on the front. Also, cover on the back here. Definitely a triple fan design with a blow through on the end. Two A pin connections. I don't see any bio switch or anything like that. One HDMI, three display port, like pretty much every other card nowadays. They do come with a PCIe 16X protector. So let's get this thing peeled. And yes, this is a metal back plate. Perfect. You got your security screws. Fan headers. A really big pass through here in the center. And we can see, what, one, two, three, four, five, six heat pipes running through here. I don't think this thing's going to have any problems getting cooled down. I wonder if this lights up here. I'm not sure. Well, let's get it on the rig and uh, see if it lights up. Okay, so we got the ASRock 6800 non-XT mounted up to this quick little test bench I put together. This is one of my first steel frames that I don't use anymore. Uh, I got my PMD, the power measuring device attached right on top of this power supply. The power supply and the RevTech motherboard that we're using today is actually Rondi's. He left it here. Thank you, Rondi, so I can use this testing. So let's go ahead, press the button, power on. Yep, center fan lights up, and she is whisper quiet as we start up. And even the top lights up too. Cool. Not bad for $800 at this current market price for an AIB. Nothing else going on right here. We can see right now, idling, we're pulling about 45 watts. Let's get it booted up and into Hive OS and get some overclocks on it and see what we can do with this card. Okay, so we got the overclock set now in Hive OS. If you look right here, we are doing 1350 on the core, 650 for the core voltage, 750 for the controller voltage, 1270 for the memory voltage, and 1064 on the memory speed. Fans currently set at 40% with the auto fan set from 40% to 100%. Right now, she is whisper quiet, doing absolutely nothing because we don't have a flight sheet on here yet. And you can see we are idling right around 40 watts. So let's go ahead and put a flight sheet on it. Let's see what it does. Okay, so the miner's been running for about two and a half minutes so far, and we are at 61.74 mega hash at 99 software watts. Let's see what the PMD truly says right now. We are at about, what do you say, 125 watts, and the fans are still running at 40%. We haven't had a chance to heat soak it, but... There's more tuning available. Let's see if we can get this wattage down closer because we want to compete with the 3070 FE. Okay, so I wasn't able to get much more in the tuning. We are still running at about 122 hardware watts at the wall. At Hive OS, it is currently reporting 99 watts. So there is still a bit of a discrepancy. We're getting 61.6 mega hash. 1275 on the core, 625 for the core voltage, 750 for the 
Uh, controller voltage, 1325 for the memory voltage, and we're running the memory at 1066. So, and there's also one setting in here. If we go down, you can see I set the SOC VDD max at 880, but I did not set the frequency. Bringing this down to 880 does save you about 3 watts, but if you set an SOC frequency, you start losing hash rate. So that's why that is not populated. So let's shoot on over to the spreadsheet that I have made up. And if we take a look at this, we can see the last one we did was the 6700 XT. On Ethereum, we were getting 46.4 mega hash at 85 watts at the wall with a hash to watt ratio of 0.54. So now for the 6800 16 gigabyte on Ethereum, we're getting 61.6 mega hash at 122 watts at the wall for a hash to watt ratio of 0 0.50. So it's ever so slightly less efficient than the 6700 XT. But now let's compare it to the 3070 FE. So if we go on over to my Octo 3 rig, you can see I have two 3070 FEs sitting here, a GPU 0 and GPU 1. They're running at 61.96 mega hash. One is pulling 116 at the wall, and the other one's pulling 107. Because at NVIDIA, these are usually good within a few watts. So we are literally neck and neck with the 3070. So there you go, the 3070 FE and the 6800 non-XT, neck and neck with each other. So at this point now, it really boils down to what price can you get a 3070 FE for nowadays and the price of what you can get a 6800. They're basically the same, and are you an NVIDIA fan or an AMD fan? Go ahead and leave your comment down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.